holder of the tower. In any city, in any country, go to any high security prison you can get yourself to. When you reach the front desk, ask to visit someone who calls himself the holder of the tower. Almost immediately, the guards will arrest you and admit you to the prison on death row without a trial. Your cell with the other death row inmates will be on the bottom level underground. Do not leave the cell. Do not eat any food or drink any water. Doing so would submit your inevitable doom on death row and lead to tortures best not written down. Stay awake as long as you can without sleeping. When your body collapses from exhaustion, you will fall into a dreamless sleep. When you awaken, your cell will be open, and the prison will be filled with a very thick fog. Walk out of the cell and go straight. It will soon become obvious that you are no longer in the prison. The cell behind you will quickly fade back into the fog. The shape of a large building will signal your arrival. Drawing closer reveals that it is leaning ever so slightly to the side, and a large portion of it is actually buried into the ground you walk on. Despite part of it being entombed in the earth, the top is shrouded in fog and is impossible to see. Find a window and climb in. The door is buried below you and unusable. There will be a nicely dressed old man waiting inside. He will greet you and begin to walk. The inside will be pitch black save for a small sphere of light emanating from a candle the man holds. Follow him and ask, Where were they separated? He will tell you in articulated detail the cruel story about the unforeseen separation of all the objects. The horrors described are unfit for human words. Imagery crawls into your mind like an urchin into your ear as he tells you the tale of the tower where they were separated to end it all. He will go on to reminisce in a horrific reverie what happened to the place they were separated. You cannot interrupt him, and you must stay within his small sphere of light, for it is all that keeps the darkness away. Unrelenting terror hungers there. When he finishes, you both will arrive at a room. In the room will be a bloodied guillotine. The man will turn around and pull out a pocket watch. He will look at it and tell you that it is time. The pocket watch is object 100 of 538. It will forever count down the days to damnation or salvation. The choice is yours.